how many more years do the Steelers have? Like that everybody in the AFC gets overshadowed by the Patriots, right? Mm -hmm. They're just this monster machine that covers up everybody else. And I think rightfully so. For sure, rightfully so. Like, I'm a Steeler fan, I can admit that. But yeah, well, the Patriots uh, are the greatest modern day dynasty in sports. They have probably the greatest quarterback of all time. I don't even know how it's a probably anymore. He's just clearly he the greatest of all time. Period. They've got the greatest coach of all time. Mm -hmm. They've got this super strange organization that for years was shrouded in mystery. And now fairly recently, they've had all these different controversies, but now it's come between the coach and the quarterback, these two immovable figures. So the Patriots are just, yeah, they're overwhelming when it comes to media coverage, both nationally and locally and, and how Every we game's going to be a national game. And, and, they've, yeah. and they've beat the Steelers so many different times. Like mm -hmm. they've just, they've, they've had their number. But I was thinking the Steelers are one of the special teams in the AFC. And, and with everyone focused on the ending of the Patriots, you can translate that, that, that overshadowing to that as well. That it's not just an overshadowing for on-field performance. It's an overshadowing for looking at the end of an era. We've looked at Tom Brady and Bill Belichick and when this is going to end and how close we are to it. And I, I started looking at Big Ben. So he's only missed... He, he only missed one game last year and it was because they had already clinched and he only missed four, sorry, five games the prior two seasons. But he is always banged up. And if you're someone who believes in those injuries and you believe that they are actually real and that he is not milking them just a slight bit, that we're getting close as a 36-year-old man, as a 36-year-old man who takes a lot of hits and who gets dinged up a lot, that we're getting probably a little bit closer to the end of his career than, say, the durability of a quarterback who can make it to 40. I don't really see Ben Roethlisberger playing at 40. He's someone who's already brought up retirement. And this, this was jarring to me. He leads the NFL in, in sacks taken, active quarterbacks with sacks taken. He's got 477. So to put that into context, he's taken 100 more sacks in his career than Phillip Rivers, who's the next guy on the list in his draft class. He gets hit a ton. And even if you think Ben can survive a couple of years or that the retirement talk is a little bit of BS, Antonio Brown just hit 30 years old. Mm -hmm. Le'Veon Bell is in his second year of that contract. And he'll be up. gone. And he Like, if he even plays this year, he'll be gone. He, I think they he'll play this him. year. I think he'll play this year. But, yeah, you're right. He's probably gone in a season. That This special era of really the, the, the first time the Steelers have had a really dynamic special offense where it's actually taken over from the defense, that they haven't been a defense-first identity, it's coming to a close. Mm -hmm. That we're living in a, maybe a year or two shelf life with this before it's time to move on. And the, the power dynamic of the AFC is going to shift dramatically. Well, and I think with with regards to what you said about Ben, I mean, that's always been, I think that was always sort of accepted, right? You know, this is a guy who's built like a linebacker. He's huge and always puts himself in position where there's about four guys running towards him as he lets go of the ball. And it, forget the sacks that he's taken. How about the times he's released the ball just before somebody hits him? Because mm -hmm. a lot of people are, you know, they're finishing oh, their yeah. hits. Yeah. And, and especially, you know, 10 years ago when he, when he first kind of came in and mm -hmm. was, you know, when they won their first Super Bowl in 06. And, um, I mean, it was the, it was not their first, but this group's first. Um, I think, you know, he was at that point taking those hard hits. And I think you're right. I, I, it wears on you. I mean, I, I question too, like the great quarterbacks in the game, Brady, Rogers, Roethlisberger, uh, Andrew Luck, like, Rodgers missed most of last season. Andrew Luck didn't play. Um, I'm surprised that that Ben Roethlisberger hasn't missed more time in the last three years. You reading just that, he, that he'd missed five games in those yeah. two previous seasons. That is surprising. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is that I think they knew that this he's not going to make 40. And I think he knows that. That's why they're drafting better to, guys. Better That's why let he's him getting to, triggered about it. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, he well, is. Better to let him play his game and be good for a while and then plan for the end. And I'm actually kind of surprised that at 36, he's still doing it. Because he, after, it was a game three last year, he talked about, he's like, maybe I just can't do this. Mm -hmm. Like, he was so defeated. And I was really surprised because he is a, he's a guy that seems to be rather unflappable. Mm -hmm. So for him to come out with that, and then, of course, they turned the season around, everything was fine. Um, it was surprising. And I think it does weigh on his mind. And, and like, the, the same as, you know, with Rick Nash in, in hockey. Rick Nash has not signed a contract yet, may not come back because he's had another concussion and at what point you've got 60 years on this earth left, how good do you want those 60 years to be? What do you want your quality of life to be? His kids are not old. Mm -mm. So, and, and, and I understand. Not to mention he's also had a motorcycle accident that was severe. Yeah, and he, I, he punctured his gallbladder. Mm -hmm. And I remember that. It was right after the Super Bowl. Yep. And I think, anyway, I, I think with Ben, I think we're looking at the end. Mm -hmm. I think Anto Antonio Brown's got 
uh, a few more years left. I think it's what three or four more years left, but none yeah. of the contracts are guaranteed. So it's, it's more so his age of just how long do you stay as an elite wide receiver as the best game breaker in yeah. football? How many times are you going to get the Madden cover right. again? Yeah, at pl- over thirty years old. Yeah, I just w- what I feel for. I don't really feel for Steelers fans. They beat my Seahawks in the Super Bowl, <laughs> and they've they've gotten a couple of rings with Ben. It's it's been a su- highly successful run. I just look at it and say that sucks for you because you're probably still on the same timeline as the Patriots with a younger yeah. quarterback that was drafted four years after Tom Brady was that you look like it's, it's kind of now or never it's, it's, it's do or die for the Steelers. They do have to make it happen. And it's interesting with, with Garoppolo gone for the Patriots, right? Like mm-hmm. that was the next guy. They don't have that. They don't have that contingency. They plan. don't. And the Steelers are working on their,